So listen to this. When 31-year-old Lori Hodgill went into a Colorado Catholic hospital on New Year's Day 2006 because she wasn't feeling well, it didn't take long for things to rapidly spiral downhill. Seven months pregnant with twin boys, she passed out due to a blockage in an artery, which led to a heart attack. The obstetrician on call did not respond to his page, and less than an hour after she entered the emergency room, Lori Hodgehill and the twins she was carrying died. So obviously a very just super traumatic, tragic event. It's a horrible thing. And no, you can't, you know, you don't want that to happen to anybody, man. That's such a nightmare. So Hodge Hill's husband filed a wrongful death lawsuit against the hospital on behalf of himself and their daughter, claiming that even if the obstetrician couldn't make it in, he could have instructed the ER staff to conduct an emergency cesarean section and at least save his sons when his wife couldn't be resuscitated. So that's when the Catholic hospital took up as its defense. I hope you're sitting down. Fetuses are not humans and should not be subject to the same protections under the Bill of Rights. For fuck's sake, man. For fuck's sake, at least have the courage of your convictions. A Catholic hospital. In this Catholic's, this Catholic hospital's mission statement, they talk about the sanct sanctity of life from conception to natural death. We're way after conception at this point. But no, the second they get into hot water, they go, oh, did we say something about a, a fetus uh, being, being life, being a human being? Did we say something about that? Oh, we didn't, I didn't, we didn't mean that at all. In fact, what we meant was uh, fetuses obviously don't have the same rights as a human being. It's amazing the way these people act to protect their asses, man. I mean, you would think that if you, if you wholeheartedly believe that, right? I mean, if you, if that is, is, is part of your belief system that, you know what, I, I genuinely think that from conception until natural death, we're talking about a, hum, a life form, a human being here. Then just to have a minimal level of respectability as a human being, to have the courage of your convictions, to actually stand on your principles, you would think that they would say, you know what, we don't even need this to, to go to, to trial. Here's what you're at, whatever, it doesn't say what amount of money he's asking for, what particularly he's asking for. I don't know what he's asking for, the husband. But out of the, out of the kindness of their, their hearts, the hospital should say, you know what, here, let's settle out of court. This is what we're offering you. Offer something, offer something, right? But instead they say, principles, principles, beliefs, convictions, I'll flush mine down the toilet. I don't have any fucking convictions. Shit, it, it, hey, if it covers my ass, I'll tell you that a five-year-old kid isn't a human being. 